Thanks for joining us. What happened a week ago in the Richmond Hill subdivision will never be forgotten by those who survived that horrific explosion. Two people lost their lives, hundreds lost their homes. Today, the community came together to remember the young couple that passed away. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet joining us live right now with that story. Ebony. Drew, the visitation for that couple was held here earlier today, and hundreds of people showed up, including neighbors, who all came out to pay their respect. A line of people waiting to say their goodbyes spills into the parking lot of Wilson St. Pierre Funeral Service. Some here were neighbors of the Longworths, John Dion and his wife Jennifer, who died in the November 10th explosion. They're just showing respect and honor for the size of what happened, that two people lost their lives for reasons we don't even know why yet. Associate Pastor June Barrow oversees the caring ministries at Southport Presbyterian Church, what's become a hub for the hundreds of families displaced by what authorities believe was possibly a massive natural gas explosion. In a case like this, there's so much shock first and numbness and anxiety and fear. So for these folks, they're their grief and their is, is so mixed, I think, with the trauma of the incident. With the disaster impacting nearly 200 families, Burroughs says grief counselors are seeing a range of emotions, some best suited for a licensed therapist. Everybody brings a different amount of coping skill to every situation. And so for some people, even though they may not have known the couple that died, it may trigger a memory of a loved one that they had. Critical incident responders say there's no right words to say to people dealing with crises. Instead, they're serving them just by being here today and for the days, weeks, and months to come. It isn't like a year later everyone's going to be at a better place because these kind of things can take us down a dark road. We can, we can end up with bitterness. We can end up with you know, nothing but cynicism. We can end up with isolation. Or people can take these kind of moments and they can end up having tremendous emotional and spiritual healing. Tonight, the church held a meeting with critical responders on hand, including licensed therapists, and they tell us they will continue to make themselves available for these impacted residents. Reporting live in Greenwood, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Jennifer Longworth was a second grade teacher at Southwest Elementary School in Greenwood. Classes there are canceled tomorrow for the funeral, which takes place Monday morning at 10 o'clock at St. Barnabas Catholic Church on the south side.